I recently learned about a tool that I think you're going to want to use in your classroom. This is an online tool called PurposeGames.com and to me the possibilities are endless for your students to use and also for them to allow them to be creative. Um, what it is is it's a website that people can create quizzes for other people to take and when you take the quiz you're able to find out the percentage that you got right and then it's also timed so there's a challenge like if you want to do it again or against other people to see how well you're doing uh, versus other people so kind of like a Kahoot or a quizzes basically that individual challenge so your students could take a quiz on the countries of Europe um, name a computer programming language multiplying by three um, you can go up here and search there are I did find um, categories if you want to explore like games and then you can go to like the category so if you had a specific category you could go there as well uh, I went ahead and created a quick game called planets of the Milky Way just something quick and easy and basically you name those planets of the Milky Way um, I was able to use the image there and I did my Creative Commons uh, citing basically to find the image that I wanted and I would encourage students to do this not to infringe on copyrights I went to Google and I found ones that I could use for non-commercial reuse and then in Wikime Wikimedia um, I downloaded the file and then I from here got that Creative Commons licensing right there I think this would be a great idea to have students also create quizzes that others could take. Um, this kind of brings an activity up that SAM or ladder where basically they're not just regurgitating information. Now they're creating something that another student can do. Um, so basically they're taking it up to modification or redefinition, which is fantastic. Uh, so get on PurposeGames.com, check out and see if your students could take any quizzes or if you want them to create any quizzes. All they need to do is create a login. Uh, I used my school account credentials and it worked out fine. So hopefully this Take Two for Tech will be great for both you and your students.